Okay, we will call the Police, Fire, and Health Committee meeting to order. Um, present, we have Kara Alt and Ken Bodkins, and myself, Jamie's Clear Olsten. Um, if you guys had a chance to look over the previous minutes meetings, can I have a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make a motion to approve the meeting minutes. And I'll second that. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 And motion carries three to zero. Um, and now, if you guys have had a chance to look over the agenda, if you can make an approval of tonight's agenda. I'm not sure to make the approval of the agenda for tonight. Okay. okay. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. And motion approves. Um, so on tonight's agenda, we have a uh, um, safer grant, and we have Chief Jackson here to explain that and go over it for us. So you have a report. Well, I'm happy to report that as you read in the newspaper, uh, we were awarded still one of only three, I think, Ohio awarded the SAFER grant, uh, which is a grant for hiring uh, firefighters to fulfill certain MPA standards, safety stuff. Um, and typical about it, if you recall, early in the year, we, we came to you with a request to be able to apply for this grant. You so awarded us that ability to do it. Um, team got together, wrote a really nice grant, uh, you know, detailing where, where we could pick up some strengths if we were getting these people. Um, and, and again, our fiscal situation, our, our growth as a community, our lack of uh, losing residents, all that stuff comes into play. Uh, you know, census, all that stuff is in this grant, so it's a very tedious uh, thing to do. And we've applied, and I'll bet this is the third or fourth time we have never received it. I think it fits with a lot of things we're wanting to do with uh, continue the high level of service with a quality succession plan. So when somebody retires, the person stepping in is of high quality, trained all the way, has some CDE, knows the city, all, all those things uh, just keep the ball rolling in the right direction. So I would be glad to help uh, answer any questions you have. I know there was quite a bit of media on it. We were tickled about that. Um, but uh, yeah, whatever questions you have, we're glad to. How much is this grant? The grant is for $782,848.20. And that number is covers both payroll and fringe benefits uh, for three employees for three years, 100%. Previously to last year, this grant started at 80% and local match was 20, went down to 60, then 40, and there was a caveat to carry them that those employees for three more years. So there was a six year commitment. This doesn't have any of that. This is 100% federal, federally paid positions. Those numbers are were, were factored. There will be no more than that because those numbers are factored at people at the top pay and friends benefits with family insurance and things like that. So and you know at least a three percent growth from that first year. So we took the contract, the first contract year, which would be next year. We took that salary in the first year, and then after that we assumed three percent growth and like those those two rates. Is the firefighter position that's posted now, is this to fill these positions? Yes, or? it is. Okay. Yes. Um, part of that is done even before the approval, and it will be canceled if, if we don't get the approval, uh, is, is weather. We have to do an outdoor test. Okay. Uh, and civil service has to plan that. So we kind of, as soon as we were awarded, we kind of shot out of the gun with scheduling a test for next month, hope on the assumption that council will, will agree to accept the award. But yes, it's for, for those. Have you gotten a lot of applicants yet? Well, I just knew it went out today. So, oh, okay. yes, however, the application has to be modified tomorrow. There's some wrong dates on it. So we've had a lot of interest. I've got a lot of calls on it. I know we have one, have one return today, and I didn't even know it was out. Um, though we bought 20 tests, I expect to have uh, between a dozen and 20 people. Okay. So that's common. Awesome. Yeah. Um, well, if there's no other questions, to Evan, may I okay. real quick? The do you expect the hiring to be a 22 issue or a 21 issue? Well, that's a good question, Tom. I think it's going to either be a really late 21 issue, and yeah. maybe have to factor in finance for that last month, or we we go at the beginning of the year. Um, we can discuss 
preference of the city. Mm -hmm. We have until February to, to get those people hired. They allow, bigger cities hold their own fire academies and things like that, so they give you 180 days from the award date. So we have until okay. February to get that person. So all, all three at the same time hired. We couldn't do two and then one. We have to have them all three ready to go on a date up until then. Mm -hmm. Right. So some, something to think about is limiting how much uh, supplemental appropriation or anything that has to be part of um, working with the auditor's office. Mm -hmm. I don't think you know it becomes another new item for them to work on. So I think we need to think about being able to put that in as, as really I was saying that before about the uh, the the money coming from uh, that left-hand turn lane project. I think the same thing applies for, for next year, that we should plan on those people coming on board in the in next year's budget year. So that's the first thing. But, you, but we need to do 81 yet this year, basically accept the fact that we want yeah. more than 81. Yes, I think we need to do the ordinances that are before you, yeah. and eat up into we can get through that process. It mid October is the test, the first test, and then we have to start interviews, physicals, right. anything like that. So, it will, to Tom's point, it'll be mid November before we even have a candidate list that, that we want to choose from. That so was going to be it my wouldn't answer. be a hard thing to say. Even choose our candidates, and here's your start date. Or right. starts where that budget, you know, it gives them longer for their employer to give notice if they're previously employed. Um, Any time schooling can get finished, gets through the holidays without trying to, to, to have somebody get having to work without being able to holiday pay based on the contract. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of good positives that would come from that, that January 1st date, if you want to look at it. Well, then, that was going to be my yeah. next question then, was how long that hiring process takes for you on your end to, you know, get through everybody we, and stuff. We can so do it as quick or slow as we, we, yeah. we lighten, lighten hiring people, and we've, we've had some push off a little bit. Um, the only priority on this, and it still would probably need to go the emergency if we were on the agenda is there is an acceptance date that doesn't make the second uh, council meeting of the month. Okay. That's why we had to call this emergency mm -hmm. meeting to get this on next Tuesday the council because September 26th is the drop dead I have to accept it to be fine by that day and there's not another meeting to do it. So, okay. so we'll need that one for sure. Yes. <clears throat> and then did you want to talk about 82 and because I had a question about that. Do we have enough? Yeah, we do. We'll move on with this okay. and then we'll get All right, well, go ahead. Okay, so uh, do I have a motion to approve, or not to approve, but to send to full council? I'll make um, that motion. Okay. Second. Okay. All right, all in favor, say aye. Aye. And motion carries three to one. Um, the next item on the agenda. Three to zero. Oh, three to zero. What did I say? I thought you said three to one. I probably did. <laughs> Okay, so the next item on the agenda is ordinance number 2021-82, and we'll let Chief Jackson address that one as well. Well, 82 just pairs with 81 because the numbers don't add up. If you add three to what I have now, we are go above the staffing ordinance. And it doesn't leave any caveat for military deployment or anything. It's kind of been nice, even though we only staff 12, to have that 14 number because we get a sensible hiring on military deployment to save the city a ton of overtime in one year, knowing that there was a retirement in the mix of all that. So it would be nice to not just add one more to make that 15 because then you lose the ability if we have our military guy being deployed to backfill or do anything you need to do for that position. So I I'd simply ask that we increase that number by the, the uh, number of employees awarded. We're only going to budget what we budget, so it shouldn't change anything, but that's why 82 is up here. So, so what would uh, the number get changed to? That, that firefighter number, but I'm on the wrong page. It's on page four. It's on, yeah, it says 14 and it would go to 17. Okay. It says, but Chief, when I was, that's what I, it says 16 and what I'm looking at. 16, I thought that's what you told me. Oh, okay. Isn't it 15? Mine does show that. But, uh, yeah. On page four? I'm on page two. I'm on page two. Yeah. yeah. Page two is the old one. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's the as is. Right. I'm that's, that's just eliminating one of them. There's two spots that aren't filled. And, right. and we still wanted that extra one that we talked about. So, yeah. uh, so do you want in, in section one with the, with the new staffing tree? Do you want 16 or do you want 17? I need 
16, 17 is, is we'd have, I mean, 17 is available if some, something were to happen. Okay. I, 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 sort of like padding for you, kind yeah, of like? Yeah. If 14 was there for a reason why I had 12, it would still be the same reason why I had a request. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So do we want the 16? Is that what you want? Is so that? We're, I think we're going to do 17. I think there's a That's what I think. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad we brought that up because that was. I, would, I think in that conversation with Julie, we were discussing why there was 14 listed there, and I was okay. of two, and I think we kind of talked about, well, you don't really need it, but then I talked about the Clint and one. So then we'll, have to, um, we'll have to change 82. Yeah. So you do an amendment Yeah, amend it to 17. Yeah. So my question is, what's the difference between, why was section one at 14 and section two was at 16? Because it was in the last one. Oh, okay. I have to put how it was, and then. Oh, and how, okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So up, updated was 16, and we want to yeah. change it to 17. Sorry, Julie, that's what the committee's for. I'd rather do it here than at the case. Next Tuesday, for sure. Yeah. Or next, yeah. the 28th. Do we have any questions about uh, the updating from the 16 to the 17? So we have to make a motion, won't they? Yeah. 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 Okay. To change 16 to 17. To amend the, we need somebody to make a motion to amend ordinance number 2021-82. Yeah. I make a motion to amend 2021-82 from 16 to 17 fire okay. okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries three to zero. <laughs> Good. Okay, uh, now, um, if we, are there any questions about this one? No. If there's no questions, then we just need a motion to um, send this on to full council. As amended. I'll make the motion to send it on to full council as amended. Okay, um, all in favor say aye. 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 And motion carries 3 to 0. Um, do we have anything else on our agenda for tonight? Anything to be discussed? Okay, then our next meeting date is going to be, let me go check this, October 21st. I have one thing to say. I'd like to thank Chief Jackson for always having all these ducks in a row when he gets there. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. He makes it a pleasure to deal with it. Yeah. Saves the city a lot of Yeah, you're quite welcome. So our next meeting will be October 21st at 7 o'clock. Do I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Okay. I'll second. All right. Motion adjourned at 7.43. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Tom, can I talk to you just for a second? Yeah. Do you have any? Yeah. I'm going to do it.